upset. Uh, Ricky Hill was doubtful until today with a sore shin, but both are now pronounced fit. One new player is Les Seeley, the former Coventry goalkeeper, and the referee today is John Martin from Alton in Hampshire. And it's Luton who get the new season underway here. They are attacking the goal to our left. In the white shirts with black shorts, Arsenal in their traditional red and white. Season when there needs to be a lot of attacking players shown, and Arsenal for their part. Terry Neal said just before the game to me, we've spent our whole pre-season trying to get rid of this so-called boring image to get the ball forward quickly and to give the fans something to shout with some good attacking football. Well, let's see. Here's the new captain, Graham Ricks. A long ball forward, and Charlie Nicholas off in pursuit, but Paul Elliott with him, putting it away. Sanson with the newly grown beard, with a good long throw there towards Woodcock. And into the side netting. Tony Woodcock, who scored a hat-trick in this corresponding game last season when Arsenal won 4-1. Well, there's Seeley, the acquisition that Luton have from Coventry City. And the new Arsenal captain, Graham Ricks, who's always used to uh, saying what he thinks on the field of play, and Arsenal think that might be something good for the side. again. Arsenal know they certainly mustn't allow him to get down that left flank and get his crosses in. Robson doing a good job there on him. And coming away with the ball now for Arsenal after work by Torbett. Woodcock couldn't quite get to that one. Tonicky. Plenty for us on the Arsenal pitch. It's looking so green and inviting. As Ricks takes it up for the home team again. not quite getting to it. Davis with the shot. And Seeley, you can see in the distance there, none too pleased with the way the defence allowed Davis so much room. And a goal kick. And Tom Howe on the left, shielding his eyes from the sun, and look at what they're wearing with the shorts and everything else. That'll give you some idea of just how hot it is here at Highbury today. And good work again by Robson. Fun looking as though he's got a bit of pace down that left. Walsh. A real slippery customer. Now Ricky Hill. Play now for Stevens to final drive one there at Pat Jennings. Found it away for Hill to get it back to him, Colin Hill. And a really powerful shot there by the fullback. Ricky Hill, Paul Walsh, O'Leary coming away for Arsenal, seeking to get the ball forward as quickly as possible, and finding McDermott. And will that be a corner? No. Turner just preventing it. Horton finding Moss, in turn getting it to Steen. Horton again. out again by Colin Hill finding his captain Graham Ricks still nil-nil here at Arsenal with about 17 minutes of the game gone Woodcock Ricks Played by Donaghy but high into the crowd but not quite reaching the crowd Arsenal's throw Sanson now oh, Charlie Nicholas Arsenal's corner. With 17 and a half minutes gone, the first corner of the game. Talbot taking it. Robson might well be the man that has to be watched for Arsenal, the number two who comes in late on these things. But it was the fist of Seeley that got it away. Ricks again. Final goal. What a good effort. really 
big crowd here at Highbury today. I'm just wondering how many of them are drawn by the man wearing the number 10 shirt for Arsenal. Charlie Nicholas on the ball at the moment. With a nice back heel finding uh, Kenny Sansa. Nicholas again. overruling him and saying let's get on Davis only too eager to do just that with a nice little cut in there and the goal by Woodcock and Arsenal in the lead well the man who scored a hat-trick in this game last season once again is the scourge of Luton the referee deciding there was no foul there, although the linesman was flagging, he preferred to let the game go, and Davis does really well here, gets past his man, a pinpoint centre, and Tony Woodcock on the end of it. So 21 minutes gone, and Arsenal open their account this season. There's only one cameraman at the behind Pat Jennings goal. At the other end, there are plenty hoping to catch, presumably, something from Charlie Nicholas. But it's a pretty quiet time so far for Charlie Nicholas. In goes Hill, bravely. It's Luton's throw. But you have to remember that Charlie himself admits that at 21, he's still learning his craft. And it's a long-term investment by Arsenal rather than something quick fire just on the day here against Luton. Although certainly from Nicholas's point of view, a goal or two wouldn't come amiss. Well, he's chasing after this one, and it might yet fall for him. He's got McDermott. He's played a good ball there for McDermott, and it's carried there by Seeley. And his cross there was a poor one. Well, it looked for a moment as though something might have been opening up for Charlie Nicholas and then denied what he thought would be a possible pot at goal. He then set up a really good shooting chance for Brian McDermott with that little pass there. Punched away by Seeley. Davis. And it's cut out quite easily by Stevens. Hill, who's quick. Oh. He's going to be booked for that. A challenge on Charlie Nicholas. It was a whiplash turn there by uh, Charlie Nicholas. And uh, Elliot, who is a good player, looked cumbersome by comparison. There was the turn. There was the challenge. And out comes the book. Rex with the free kick. Seeley with the catch. And people like Brian McDermott have kept Luton at full stretch. The Luton manager, David Pleat, has been saying all along there'll be no retreat from our, by us from a real strong attacking policy. Although Luton have been forced to do a lot of defending here. But David Pleat's philosophy about attack is right for Luton and for the game this season. Well, a free kick for Luton. Donaghy. And Ricky Hill. Played now for Paul Walsh. A brilliant equaliser. But it was a curious goal as well. Because it looked as though Walsh had taken too long. And Robson was coming in. And it might even have been Robson who got a touch. But let's have a look. Well, that might have been an own goal. Well, that was a remarkable uh, equalising goal for Luton. And Robson, it seemed to me from that slow motion, although from the angle where I'm sitting, it was almost impossible to tell, but it looks such an unlikely goal. Let's just look once more on the right-hand side of the picture there. It looks very much as though it's Robson's boot that comes in to make it 1-1. Now it comes to Walsh. Now it comes to Walsh. Now can you turn on something here? 
Ricky Hill there with the shot. Good save by Jennings. So from being pinned right back, Luton are suddenly coming right back into this game. They were a goal down, they equalised, and then Hill pulled that shot out of uh, Pat Jennings. Forward towards McDermott. A nice backward header there, but Woodcock then just gets to the ball, beats off a couple, finds Ricks. Nicholas has got his arm aloft, hoping that he might get something from his captain. But he does, in fact, a moment too late because the whistle for half-time has gone. Tony Woodcock for Arsenal, and then what looked to be an own goal by Stuart Robson. Charlie Nicholas very quietly goes through his first 45 minutes in Canon League football, and the half-time score here at Highbury is Arsenal 1, Luton Town 1. So Arsenal will get us away. Now attacking the goal to our left. And it's Paul Davis. Stuart Robson. Can be little doubt that it was his own goal that made it 1-1. Lear is header. Turner. And a free kick for Luton right at the start of this second half. Now with Moss. Interesting bit of play there, but the cross was a little too far forward for Walsh and Hill. Nicholas. That's a good ball by Nicholas for Torbex. Pushed away well. McDermott coming in over the top. Well, he's a great taker of goals. His record shows that, Charlie Nicholas. Over 50 last season for Celtic. My word, he's setting it up beautifully for Talbot. What a ball that was. Very incisive, and a good, powerful shot on target by Talbot. Well saved by Seeley. Robson. Talbot. Elliot away. Talbot in again. Elliot once more. Arsenal's throw. McDermott. Talbot dinking it forward for Tony Woodcock. And Arsenal going to the lead again. Woodcock scored the first one and made the second one. As the ball goes through to McDermott and he lashes it violently wide of Lercini and it's 2-1 Horton for Luton and suddenly Bunn is through but O'Leary tidying up again Tony Woodcock versus Elliott. Stevens will tidy it up again and get it away into touch. It's indicative of the amount of pressure that Luton have been put under at phases in this game. The number of times they've been just happy to plant the ball into the crowd. Nicholas with a little touch and it very nearly got back to Sanson. But in the end, Stevens beat both Sanson and Nicholas and then presented the ball to Davis and as well for them that Seeley was down to save it well this is developing into quite a good game now not a good attack from both sides and particularly from Arsenal that was a bad clearance by Stevens you have to say but a very competent save by the keeper so Robson uh, taking up the charge for Arsenal on the far side finding McDermott's Davis putting himself in a bit of a muddle and Bunn with a simple ball finding Horton. Horton with a good ball finding Moss. Steen and Hill are both waiting in the middle, waiting for Moss's cross. And it hits David O'Leary and goes behind for the corner. Well, he's got a few left-wing crosses over in his time, David Moss. 
afternoon there was some talk that he might leave the club at the end of last season but left-sided players don't grow on trees and here he is again with that long long cross Jennings characteristically and somehow Steen's shot was pushed over by those mighty hands of Pat Jennings again just lifted it over when it looked as though Luton had got themselves another equaliser there was the one clearance and there was the other one by Jennings just clearing that crossbar Moss again with another corner for Luton they're all coming in for that one and it was Torbett's header that got it away and uh, more than that Torbett is on the chase to complete the clearance Hill getting it into touch for Arsenal and Luton's throw about a quarter of an hour of the second half gone and Arsenal leading 2-1 Brian Horton with the throw. The ball coming off Ricks, giving Hill an unexpected second chance, but in the end, Ricks has the opportunity of getting it away and does well and finds Charlie Nicholas. Touched on nicely there by Nicholas for Sanson. Finding McDermott on the far side. Nicholas has gone roaming through the middle. And so too has Talbot. And Torbert gets to the ball, but unfairly, and provides Luton with a free kick. They're getting quite a tan, and as Tom Howe looks at his watch, he sees that there's a little over a quarter of an hour left. They look as though they might get three points as well. 2-1 Arsenal leading. Charlie Nicholas. Still Charlie Nicholas. Brought down by Donaghy. Keeping a tight and sometimes unauthorized grip on Charlie Nicholas is Donaghy. And it's Ricks with the free kick. Talbot trying to get in there. One, oh, Miss Kewing. And in the end gets it away to Ricky Hill. Gets it back himself. And the free kick to Luton. Stevens. Hill, chipped on for Moss. Now, Luton were looking uh, for a penalty there. And Moss certainly is looking hard at the linesman, but neither referee nor linesman even considered it. Suddenly he was in a good position there. That went just a little wider than he wanted. And as you can see, no penalty was exactly the right decision. Header. Stevens, Hill, Sanson. This again. Played in again for Woodcock now. Will he get to that? He might still get to that. Indeed, he has got to it. But it's disallowed. Presumably for the feet being too high on the keeper as he went for it. And that would have been the moment when the referee decided there was no goal. Stevens is in this time. Walsh, back for Hill. Oof. And the Hill. And Samson there. Samson went down, but the free kick's been given to Luton. And Ricky Hill apologizing to England men. can Luton do with this free kick well, if it's a bit wider they played inside to David Moss charging through but the angle wouldn't be right for that although Moss is at Horton's left shoulder it will be that Moss in fact curls it and once again Pat Jennings cuts it like a plum off a tree and makes it look so ridiculously easy actually it was quite a good curling shot there by Moss Woodcock. Nicholas away on the left. Played for Ricks. Woodcock. Played in again for Ricks. Well, 
There are claims by both sides for handball there. And referee Martin has given it Luton's way, their free kick. Ricks came in, playing a 1-2 with Woodcock. Well, they claimed handball there, and I must say, they did appear to have a case. That could easily have been uh, construed by some referees, I would have thought, as a penalty. Arsenal's throw. Woodcock. Ricks. Outside of his sensor. And Ricks. Oh, my goodness! What a tremendous shot there by Ricks. I thought we were going to start the opening day with one of the great goals of the season there for one split second. And certainly the 39,348 crowd here at Highbury must have thought so too. A crowd that's almost 10,000 more than Arsenal expected to see here today. And I'm bound to say they've mostly had good value. It says something for Luton coming back now that the Highbury crowd are whistling frantically to try and attract the referee's attention. And Moss nearly got in. Good work there by O'Leary. That could have been really nasty for Arsenal. Right in the last seconds of the game. Moss with the corner for uh, Luton. Hit it down. Well, Elliot came in there. And uh, Jennings somehow got behind it. And suddenly Woodcock is away at the other end. But Jennings saved that one. Woodcock was offside. Seeley wants to get the free kick taken, aware that time is almost up. So a good stirring finish to a good first game of the season. Ricks for Davis. Linesman signaling that time is up. Torbett, McDermott. Final whistle. Arsenal have won by two goals to one. Woodcock and McDermott, their scorers. There's McDermott, who got the goal that proved to be the winner. Robson, an own goal for Luton. Final score, then, here at Highbury. Arsenal 2, Luton 1.